I just felt this man could be my covering. You know what I mean? Like the way he took care of me, the way he handled everything, I was like, yeah, this is a father. This is a good husband. This is someone that I could, you know, cry to. Hi beauties, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So I've been getting a lot of questions about how I met my husband, how I knew he was the one. Um, so I was just like, let me just make a general video to be honest so that's what inspired today's video couple of disclaimers i'm not a relationship expert this is just basically me sharing my story so today i'm going to be talking about how to attract a high value man christian girl edition high value in this context is simply a man that loves god and not the circular definition of high value man i know a lot of you are probably gonna troll me for this in the comment section because it's 2023 women are allowed to do whatever they want to do yes a hundred percent if that's you please do you boo i'm not judging but me personally i do not believe in chasing a man men are innately built to pursue after they win a woman over there's this very rewarding feeling that they have and they tend to treat you better if he's a good man and if he's a god-fearing man because some men are just crazy they will do everything to win you over and the minute they win you over they're on to the next i'm not talking about those chronic chasers i'm talking about a man that has a good head on his shoulder right so i don't believe in chasing however i do believe in preparing and positioning yourself to be approached by a high value man so what does that look like so my husband and i met on instagram and after we kind of got familiar i just basically asked him like you know why did you send me a message you know what did you see etc and he basically explained to me that when he saw my page uh, first thing he noticed what, was how I dressed, how I carried myself. There was this aura and this grace that he just felt, you know what, I need to send her a DM. I need some of this, you know, I need, I need her in my life. You know, I looked very graceful, very peaceful, etc. Now, for me, that is... Um, a way you can position yourself if that makes sense now i'm not saying be a catfish i'm not saying be someone you're not on social media i was basically presenting who i was right um but if it means you leveling up honestly it's going to be worth it level up for yourself though not for the man you know because as you are entering into that era of being a a woman you want to be able to carry yourself very well and let's be honest guys since covid a lot of people have been meeting on social media it's very rare to meet someone out um, when you go out for lunch or dinner whatever so social media is very powerful and you want to dress how you want to be addressed okay i know it's probably not the best thing you want to hear right now but it's the sad reality and it's the truth again please don't catfish anyone and say sharon told me no present yourself well that's all i'm saying so now that's out of the way the first point on how to attract a high value man is to focus on your relationship with god you will most likely attract someone that has the same value system as you so a man that values his faith will be drawn to a woman who also values her faith i'm not saying focus on god because you're trying to find a spouse focus on him because you genuinely want to have a relationship with him i'm going to read a, a scripture really quickly is isaiah 21 verse 13 they will say they are mine and honor me with their lips but their hearts are far from me their worship of me is the commandment taught by men this bible verse basically explains that god knows when you're just serving him or getting closer to him because you're trying to get something from him so you can't really like play god mm -mm. so please guys i highly encourage you to genuinely want to know god spend time developing that relationship with him through prayer through worship through bible study i will give you an example of how i was focusing on my relationship with god before i met my husband so when i met him um i think i was preparing to graduate or i had grad no i was preparing to graduate um but at that point all i was thinking about was not a relationship not marriage even though marriage was on my mind but it wasn't like you know a priority for me i was just basically focusing on my relationship with god and also my next step so i was praying heavy about those two things now i'll be honest on the side i was praying for a spouse i was like god listen i want to do xyz but if you think a husband is good for me now then please let him come but no one that's gonna stress me so yeah of course you can still pray for a spouse whilst you're waiting on god but that shouldn't be your prior priority you know god's kingdom the bible says seek first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all other things will be added unto you that is what he means including that husband that wife whatever it is next point is you want to develop your character now as a woman of god who is seeking a spouse you want to make sure that you develop qualities such as kindness humility 
honesty, ETC. Proverbs 31 says, a woman of noble character, her worth is far more than rubies. Now, these qualities will not only attract a God-fearing man, but it will also make you a better person. I know if you notice how the first and second points are all about you, and God we haven't talked about the man yet the next point is to have discernment so guys I cannot stress this enough Matthew 7 talks about false prophets that come as wolves in sheep's clothing it's the same thing with dating the minute they see that you are a woman of God you automatically become a target a lot of men will come to you quoting scriptures left right and center guys you need to have seen my DMs I wish I had screenshots like just using Bible verses to like woo me and I'm just like you guys know I can see through this right so if I didn't have discernment I wouldn't have been able to discern that this person is just trying to um, use Bible scriptures to impress me but their fruit is not of God the Bible says by their fruit you shall know them so yes they might be using Bible scriptures to impress you right now but in time they will reveal themselves you notice that okay this person doesn't like church anymore this person really isn't like you know as Christian as I thought they were in the beginning they were all about God stuff but now it's like they're all relaxed now that they have me. You see, a godly man will produce godly fruits and some examples of the fruits of the spirit, we have patience, we have love, we have self-control, we have generosity, we have faithfulness. First John 4 verse one says, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirit to see whether they are from God. So please, woman of God, have discernment. And the only way you can have discernment is if you have a relationship with God, because the Holy Spirit will speak to you. The Holy Spirit will literally show you that this man is just wasting your Time. not all that glitters is gold sis and as Christian women sometimes they think that we are naive because maybe we don't have a lot of dating history but trust me God reveals a lot of things to us so please 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 have discernment so when God finally sends the one that you have been praying for and you are now courting this person please do not make them your God I know it's very easy to idolize him because you have waited so long for this person and now they are here but please and please a blessing can turn to a curse very quickly when my husband and I started courting I prayed this prayer heavily. I said, God, if this man is going to take your place in my life, please take him away from me. Because if you're not careful, all of a sudden you don't have time to pray. You don't have time to study your word, but you conveniently have time for date night. Anyone that's going to take you away from God is honestly not worth it. One thing that really stood out to me when I met my husband was how he was towards people that he couldn't get anything from so I'll give you an example when we first met I told him I wanted to be strictly friends I wasn't even considering marriage at that point I mean I was like yeah he's cute or whatever but we literally had zero mutual followers he was this American Nigerian American guy that just followed me so I didn't really know much about him and I was just like let's be friends um, but he was very patient with me and he has been consistent in how he is as a person towards me um, who he loves and towards someone else that like I said he can't get anything from and my mom told me that before be mindful of a man that treats another person less because they can't get anything from them because when the love fades which it will this man is going to treat you the exact same way so that was something that i really observed and you know he's a very caring and giving person and i just told myself if he can be like this to someone who he doesn't know and doesn't owe anything then this is definitely a good sign so that kind of encouraged me to continue the friendship um yeah i just kind of remembered that so i wanted to add in that point so now to answer the question how i knew my husband was the one um, number one I would say he gave me peace I mean he still does give me peace even though he's so annoying but yeah my home is very peaceful all glory to God secondly he has a lot of strengths in areas that I'm weak and that was one of my top prayer points I said God you know me I'm a procrastinator I lack sense of urgency I'm this and that so I need someone who has strengths in uh, this areas that I'm weak and vice versa so quick story um, I had a list down to the T guys. I even, I even told God I wanted to be from this state. That's how precise my list was. Um, so he also had a list, but in the beginning we didn't really share that with each other. Um, but he was like mentally ticking off or physically, I guess, cause he was on his iPad ticking off like the qualities um, and how like I kind of fit the, his list basically. English is so hard. <laughs> um, so a couple of months into courting, we started getting closer and I think I had shared with him like, oh, I love how you're always 10 steps ahead. Like you're a thinker, you're, you like 
you basically have foresight and I sometimes do not so I was like oh this is something that I prayed to God for and then he was like oh he also has a list of things and he showed me the list and he was like listen you ticked everything and more I was like oh my gosh I have a list too so it was just like a funny story but for me and for him um, I think that was our turning point where we're like okay this is really happening like we're gonna take this seriously you know so that's number two number three I got to a point where my orientation changed in terms of seeking a spouse so I was like will I be okay if my son or my daughter comes out with the qualities that my husband has um, and I was observing him I was like okay okay I wouldn't mind if my son or daughter has like this or acts like this or looks like this so for me that's how I knew he was the one because most when I say most, I mean in the 90s, when it comes to um, the percentage scale, um, most of his qualities, I would love for my son or my daughter to inherit. So um, yeah, and next, how he is with my family. Like he's so chilled with them. Most times I'm even like, babe, let's go to our Airbnb. He's always like relaxing. So for me, family is everything. I also get along with his family really well. Um, it was just like a good mesh, if that makes sense. And fourthly or fifth, I don't remember um, one thing that really really stood out to me and when I was like hmm okay I can really marry this man the first time I met him in person um, he was at the airport and he just I just felt this man could be my covering you know what I mean like the way he took care of me the way he handled everything I was like yeah this is a father this is a good husband this is someone that I could you know cry to this is my confident and I'm so grateful to God and I say this with all humility that he has been consistent with who he is you know as a husband and as a person um so yeah those are just things I can think of think of off the top of my head right now I'm sure there's more um, but guys listen please pray for your spouse um, I also pray for my kids like I lay my belly on my hand on my womb and I pray that my kids will know and love God they're not here yet but I'm gonna keep praying for them and that's the same way you should keep praying for the spouse or the man that you want and please also develop yourself and your relationship with God that's that's the top priority not even a man at this point so yeah I hope this video blessed you guys if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe and like this video and comment down below any qualities or any dating experience from hell <laughs> you know let's just make this interactive okay thank you guys so much for watching I hope to see you in my next video God bless bye guys Mwah.